Guys, what is up? What is good? I just got off work uh, over here on Wall Street, um, working with uh, some private investors, and we're getting some stuff going here through the Grayscale Bitcoin Cash Trust. So if you guys are knowing this, tr guys, what is up? What is good? It's your favorite. What's going on? So we're talking about why there is an influx in Bitcoin Cash Grayscale. Uh, also native Bitcoin Cash. So if that's what you're interested in, go ahead and subscribe guys and let us know what you think. So here on the channel, guys, I, I do do my own due diligence. Um, I don't, you know, we have these conversations and you know, you see these YouTubers that are just basically spewing out uh, stuff out of their mouth that isn't really relevant to what's actually going on. So I've actually gotten in touch with Grayscale. Um, I've talked to one of their, um, one of their employees or one of their client relations or whatever department I talk to, uh, to get a little bit more clarity on the Bitcoin Cash private placement uh, ordeal. And we've talked about the private placement many times here on the channel. And I've tried to explain to you guys that a lot of these trusts, you can't really look at the beginning in the early days of the trust because the lockup period significantly affected not only the liquidity, but the price spikes, okay? So you hear a lot of stuff on Grayscale all over the internet, but it's one thing that I've always failed to hear. Uh, so we gotta make sure on this channel we're giving you right, accurate information uh, about this stuff that, you know, we can't really look at Grayscale the same uh, in every case. You know, that's why we look so hard at Ethereum Classic Grayscale because the private placement was a lot earlier on, you know, with Bitcoin Cash, BCHG, uh, Litecoin and some of these other ones, it's a little less likely um, that the price swings are not worth looking at, okay, because of the timing of stuff. So um, the issue with Bitcoin Cash Grayscale and what I reached out and fi found out is this new amount that they've locked up uh, very much is influencing the price and the premiums of the BCHG Trust. Now, there's going to be a six-month lockup period on not only these funds, but um, when we look at these prices in a, to a total, you know, zoom out perspective, we got to see where Bitcoin Cash Grayscale is actually really going to go. Is it going to go to 100 bucks? Is it going to go to 55 bucks and top out? You know, we don't know. We, we don't know exactly how high it's going to go. It's going to be based on the native crypto and then us trying to mentally price in these lockup periods in terms of where the price will land. So that's what's gonna be the price, is, is that formula. So for any mathematicians out there that can calculate it for us uh, and give us a very good date on, you know, if Bitcoin Cash were to go this high, we theoretically could put Bitcoin Cash grayscale at this price. That would be the only formula that would work. All these speculative things that you're hearing on these different channels, uh, there, it's just that. It's just speculation. We don't know, and the whole market speculation. But you can mathematically find out where the prices would land theoretically if we price in certain numbers, like on Bitcoin native, Bitcoin Cash native, crypto, uh, and then, like I said, we 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 try to work in some type of formula based on the amount they locked up. I think it was 16 million, but don't quote me on that. Um, and then we kind of go from there, determine where where we think the price could spike because it's it spiked pretty aggressively today, but native Bitcoin Cash went up today as well too, uh, and that being kind of you know in this lockup period type stuff, uh, that's probably why we're seeing the significant increase in price today. Um, you know, significant. Take it with a grain of salt, but it it is a, a little bit sizable of a jump uh, compared to you know, the gradual increase we've seen overall in Grayscale, and right? And that's because of the lockup, the lockup period on this new, uh, new amount of shares that's been issued. Um, and like I said, I reached out to Grayscale to get more clarity on it. So this is firsthand uh, knowledge, you know, uh, delivering it live to you guys, drop it in the comments, let me know.